Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the usual plan with me for the week of March 18th through the 24th. And I'm using the Scribble Prints Co. Walking in the Rain kit. This was a secondary winter set that I did for the more like rainy places that didn't snow. And I thought this would also be a good like transition into spring kind of kit. Um, or autumn so I'm using this as sort of a spring early spring kit we definitely had we had rain we had snow we had fog we had sunshine we had everything so um, it did work out for this week but overall it's just the feeling of spring I guess um, it's actually lightly snowing outside that I look at now but it's also sunny at the same time so that's funny but I did my usual um, uh, spread of color blocking and I'm using this silver caress press foil bundle um, I got, uh, called Stormy and it's the raining one and I thought that was perfect she brought this out for a sort of like a spring rain set that she did for um, a mystery but I really loved the foil design with all the little umbrellas and the rain clouds so I decided to use that throughout and it was perfect <laughs> um, but otherwise, yeah, that is everything to do with the base. Um, it was really hard to pick boxes. I left out so many of them because I decided to bring in all the people instead. But for the sidebar, I did pick the cat under the umbrella because I thought that was so cute. The cat did come out looking a bit shocked having this little jumper on. So I thought it was really fun that Andrea of SPC put it under the umbrella outside because it's like, oh my god, it's raining. <laughs> Um, I thought that turned out really cute. But yeah, I wanted to put in more of the people um, than the other things in the set. So I really liked the way it came out. But let's not dally on the um, doing the <laughs> uh, base and let's get into actually daily planning. So hello there. I have new nails on. I think they look really cute. Very springy. <laughs> Not so much green, but we still have a touch of green for March, but yeah, so this is how the spread turned out and I do have my little to-do list here, which was just some work stuff. And the book I was first reading in my audiobook I like to put up here, which is Tiamat's Wrath. This is the second to last book in the Expanse series, and I finished that on Wednesday, as you'll see. So um, then I'm going I'm to be changing this side, but I... Yeah, I'm just doing the one box with my audiobook, although at the moment I've been reading two books because I've been putting, um, I've been reading a different book on the Kindle before bed at the moment, but I think I'm just going to leave it to, this is my audiobook for now. <laughs> and I don't mind writing in the other one. So Monday, of course we're going to put in Coffee Monday. And then I had a pre-plan with me video go live. I'm just going to spread this out a little bit because I am using that bigger um, stick. I'm using Clever Craft Heart. Uh, I might move it more in the center here um, to mark my video. Yeah, so I do plan to do some more pre plan with me's and just keep up with them as long as I can because um, I know it's just nice to have something to watch at the beginning of the week. And plenty of you seem to be interested in watching them, so I will continue doing them as long as I can. Um, and then, obviously, I started on work. I was finishing up the summer set that I was working on, my second summer um, set for the shop. And I was getting started on the um, next travel set for the shop. Um, these are the two releases I'm doing in May, so we'll hopefully have May done pretty soon now. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do it here. Is while I was working, I was reading Tiamat's Wrath on the audiobook. And then I, oh, we got the Barmy delivery for lunch. This was um, Barn Me's, because I love me a good Barn Me. So we got that delivered and then we had groceries delivered as well in the evening and we were watching Fargo. So we're watching the first season of Fargo, which we finished this week. 
and it was all right. I feel like it dragged on a lot. Like, I don't know. I just feel like maybe even 10 episodes is too much. And everyone was like kind of really dumb. I know that's kind of, I feel like that's just the thing about Fargo. But no, it was a bit too long for what it was for me. So we did start the next season of Fargo this week. But then we're kind of like, meh. I don't know. We weren't really feeling it. I love all the actors that are in the show because it's like different actors every season. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. I didn't mind it, but... Um, we're watching Fargo through Friday, and then I think then we switch shows after that. Okay, let me put in Vibami and Fargo. All right, but it was still you know it was entertaining. It just went a bit too long for me. I think it was like season episode eight. I was like, okay, it's done. Oh god, it's still going. <laughs> There's still a lot more of it to go. Um. So Tuesday, we're putting in our usual payday. And then I did a bunch of cleaning this day. I've just been sort of like pottering around. I've been kind of enjoying keeping the kitchen up a little bit here and there. So that's been nice. So I did some cleaning. I've only, the only cleaning um, scripts I have left are just clean everything, which I wasn't cleaning everything, but <laughs> I just use the script because I'm lazy. And then of course did some more work and then it was Tuesday and I needed to film um, the plan with me to go up on Wednesday it's also Tuesday again it's just it's becoming the day for me to film Wednesday's plan with me at the moment um, then oh this day we put chili in the slow cooker so we, w we made some chili and then watch some more Fargo. And I start, uh, did I start reading it this day? No, I think I just had it um, read it. Um, I didn't do any reading on Monday. So I was reading um, on my Kindle June. Dune, June, it depends on your accent. <laughs> but you know, the, uh, the recent films that I was watching. Because after I finished um, seeing June part two of the cinema, I was like, you know what, I, I really want to finish reading the book. So I was reading that on the Kindle this week. I originally started reading it as a book and um, this looks a bit silly, but whatever. Um, as a physical book, because I bought it in June last year, but then, I don't know, reading a physical book, just it makes it extra hard. But a Kindle, a Kindle I can just zoom through, so. I find it just easier to concentrate on the words on the Kindle. I don't know. So I was able to get through June actually pretty quickly. Um, and I enjoyed it. Um, I did finish it. I gave it four stars because I enjoyed the story, but it was written in the 60s. So it has a bit of you know, clunky stuff in it to me, which they didn't include in the films, which, uh, well, in the De Denis Villeneuve uh, films, they did include the new ones, which I thought was a good choice. <laughs> um, I enjoyed, I really, I think the most I enjoyed the changes were for um, the Harkonnens. I thought they were a lot better in the film than in the book. So, Wednesday, that plan with me went up. I did some more work, I got some laundry on. And then I finished um, Tiamat's Wrath this day. So I only have one more book left in the Expanse series. And then also a short, um, they do have a novella that takes place after all the books are done. So I'll read that too when the time comes. Um, got June here. What is this one? We're on Wednesday. I'm trying to look at my stuff. Because of what we also watched some more Fargo, just finishing up that season. And then we made nachos this night. Because when we make chili, we get two meals out of it. We get chili cheese fries. And then we made nachos the next day with the leftovers. But yes, I got my finished book here. Um, and then just got the little thing. My favorite fork. 
My favorite folk and knife icon doodle from SPC. I just ordered a bunch more pages of these because I just love the way it looks. It looks so good. And then, yeah, finishing, um, well not finishing, <laughs> reading more June before bed. Yeah, and that was the beginning of my week. I know, pretty simple. But we were working, we were keeping busy. All right, so the second half of the week, Thursday, I'm just gonna put straight in. We were doing work this day. In fact, I finished that summer set um, this day. So let me put some things in here. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. So I also did the listings this day. I finished it up and did the listings. And I got started on my next audiobook, which I've decided um, I'm taking a little break from The Expanse so Locke can catch up with me. Um, I think they're like two books behind me now, so um, I think after the I, I'm doing a reread of the Stormlight Archive because the fifth book in the series comes out in December. I've only read them once, so I'll, it'll be good to reread them again before the new book comes out. So I've started rereading The Way of Kings, which is the first book. I think when I finish this, I'm going to read the last book of The Expanse, because it should be time that I can do that then. Um, and also make sure that uh, we're not like both up to that book and like fighting each other <laughs> for the audiobook. So, but yeah, so um, I started on rereading that. It's a 45 hour book and this is the shortest one. But I did switch it to 1.2, 1.3 speed on Audible because the narrators are actually pretty slow. Um, yeah, I just found them a lot slower reading than compared to the narrator for The Expanse. So I set it up a little bit higher and now it's only 35 hours. So that's nice. <laughs> they are really big books though, but really, really good. Um, so I was reading that, and I'm doing the, then I did the listings for that shop set. And then this night we had burger bowls for dinner. We watched some more Fargo, which I'm just going to put in a big, bigger box. And I was reading more June before bed. <laughs> I'm just going to scooch this box up a little bit, just so it's a bit more scented. All right. But yeah, I would recommend June, but you do have to realize, you have to keep in mind that it was written in, um, oh, wrong box, that it was written in the 60s, so it definitely has that feel to it, um, and so things are, and then, uh, yeah, otherwise I actually really, really did enjoy it, like it really kept me going. I know some people, like, don't like, um, have said that they don't like Frank Herbert's prose, but I enjoyed it. I liked the way it was written. It's just some characters are very kind of 60s and kind of lame. <laughs> um, and it's interesting that um, so things that take place at the end of... Um, also, there are some scenes where, like in the first film, they're sitting in a tent and it's happening in the book too, but then a speech that happens, or a thing that happens in the second film happens when they're in the tent in the first half of the, you know. They've moved some things around, and I think it worked well in the movie to like build up, especially the character of Paul better, by moving some things around. Also, if you watch the film, you know how awesome, both films, you know how awesome the sandworm riding scene is, like when he rides the sandworm. And in the book, it's like one page long, and it's kind of lame. <laughs> it's not described very well, and then right afterwards, he's just getting berated for not doing it correctly. <laughs> and I feel like it's just such a different tone compared to the film, where it's a lot more exhilarating. Um, I feel like a lot, and then also just all of the combat in the books isn't as fun. And I feel like that's just because it's an older way of writing combat I don't know it's like if you've read Lord of the Rings like the combat isn't it's more implied than it is described <laughs> um 
obviously that's going to be very different versus watching a movie. But I feel like even like um, reading Stormlight Archive, the fighting is a lot more detailed. Um, I think because that's more popular these days. I think it's just a change of writing, but... So some parts of the Dune book were a little disappointing compared, but it was nice to be able to imagine the movie in my head <laughs> while I read it. But there's also a lot more detail about other things. So there's like the Chome Company and the Spacing Guild aren't really um, mentioned in the... They're not really explored in the movies like they are in the book, so... That you to get different aspects. So I would recommend it, but it's a much heavier book to read. But book talk out of the way. <laughs> uh, we got, I had a studio vlog up on Friday. I filmed just a day of myself working. And I think that vlog came out really well. I was happy with it, even though my hair was terrible in it because I needed to wash it. <laughs> um, and then I released just a little release. I'm using the hammer because it was just some services, digital papers. You know, nothing big, and then I was starting work on my next set. It was the travel set that's going to go up in May. Um, I'm going to put this at the bottom. So, of course, I was reading my Wave Kings while drawing. And then we, uh, once Lux's work stuff was done, we actually... Um, went in the afternoon to pick up some mail from the post, um, the parcel locker near us. Um, oh yeah, it was our British passports were finally delivered. It actually went pretty quickly. Like, as you, you know, following you guys would, if you remember, um, we're just renewing our British passports and I had to mail off some extra documents to them. It was delivered, then the next day they said that they had gotten our documents, then the next day after that they had approved our application, and then like two days after that they had mailed our new passports, and then they got to us, they were, they were delivered by DHL to a locker. Luckily, at that locker, so our supporting documents and our passports were both set separately to each other, so we had to pick up four DHL <laughs> like packages. Um, and then, luckily, I had a new um, package of clothes from New Look were delivered to the same parcel locker, and they were there. So we picked up all of that mail in one go. Um, it was a nice little walk there and back again from home. So yeah, I just used a passport picture because that's what we got. The new passports are okay. I don't know. I preferred the older ones, but what you gonna do? <laughs> So we went to Posty and then we just hung out at home, we watched Fargo, and I finished June this day. Finished it all up, I can't believe I finished it. <laughs> it actually still says, so like, it said 10, it was 90% and it finished. Oh, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but um, the way it finishes is not the same as in the movie. And uh, I was just like, what? This is the end? That was how he finished this book? What? I don't know. I was just like, okay. <laughs> like, I get it, but I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's part of the movie changes that I like. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, that's how it ends. Um, I've, I've moved on to reading some other stuff, but I, eventually I'll get to reading the next June Messiah book. Um, but I'm just having a little break reading some novellas first. Alrighty, finished book. So Saturday morning, I actually put in here that we had bed chats. Basically, you know, it was Saturday. I don't take my meds on Saturday, so I, I can just, I don't have to rush about trying to get breakfast and things. So I was just chilling in bed and then Locke came to, to chill in bed with me and we just had bed chats. It was literally like this. So that's really cute. This is from, um, uh, what are they called now, Whimsy? Is it just whimsy? But yeah. We just had chats in bed because it was cold and it was hilarious to chat in bed. <laughs> and then I got up and I apparently filmed a plan with me. Oh yeah, I filmed my pre-plan with me. So how do I want to mark that? Um, pre-plan with me. Oh, and I also filmed my April monthly as well then. Um, 
and then I did some more cleaning. <laughs> just put clean everything. I think again, I was just like cleaning up the kitchen and just bits and bobs, just organizing some things. Um, was it, we got a, a long cable for this lamp that we want to put on top of our bookshelf to add some ambient lighting. And I finally connected that and put that up on top of the bookshelf. So that was all the things I was getting done. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, we were watching some Bob's Burgers. Uh, we pretty much watch it every day, just sort of like, you know, background stuff. Let's see what things I want to use here. What could I fit? All right, so this day we had our, oh, hmm. I think I'm going to change up what I use here. So I'm not going to use this. Maybe I can just fit it onto two little things. Because I've used up my chubby ones. Um, but yeah, so this night we had for dinner a roast chicken with our usual potato, carrot, capsicum, and um, onion roast. And then I also made a peach cobbler both so good. I'm using air fryer for the roast chicken because that's how we roast our chickens now. Because if they, um, chickens are a bit smaller here so they fit in an air fryer and it's so good. It's like rotisserie chicken when you do it in the air fryer. You just have to make sure you cook it the full length of time you would as in an oven. And we also halfway we flip the chicken. So we start off with the bottom on the top and then we flip so that way it gets a bit more rotation of heating. It turns out so good. And then peach cobbler for dessert and then we're able to eat the leftovers on Sunday too. And then I started the uh, novella that I just finished, I think last night, um, which is, yeah, I finished it last night. So it took me three nights, but I think I only read one chapter this night and went to sleep. But it was the first book of the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. Um, let me have a look. They're really short, they're sweet. I think it was really cute. Um, it's like, it has like quippiness, but without being like Marvel grown quip, it was very like intelligent. And also the main character Murderbot is very socially awkward. And I really enjoyed that. And they're a quick little read. So this one's called All Systems Red, um, The Murderbot Diaries, number one by Martha Wells. If you just look up the Murderbot Diaries, you'll find it, I think. But um, but also, if you're on my Goodreads, then um, you'll see it there, But because I just finished it. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It was like a really fun little read, and I, um, yeah, I recommend that if you're looking after a different sci-fi to read, because obviously it's about robots <laughs> in the future. But yeah, I thought it was really charming. I liked it. Um, so, Bob's Burgers, Roast Chicken, Peach Cobbler, and starting the first Motorbot book. I'm just going to write them as like Motorbot 1, Motorbot 2 because I feel like that's easier to keep track of. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. Just something different to read before bed. It also keeps me off my phone before I go to sleep because that's really bad for me. I really get sucked into reels, which is why I don't have TikTok because I feel like... I just feel like you shouldn't have TikTok if you have that kind of problem because it's bad. Um, no, thank you. I don't need that in my life. So Sunday, I washed some more clothes. And I'm also putting in fold laundry because I had to fold a cloth, a clothing haul as well as load as well as some clothes. So it was some extra bit of folding that I had to do this day. Um, so for laundry and then we were watching Bob's Burgers just during the day. Just thinking about what we wanted to watch. So wash clothes, fold laundry, you know, just getting ready for the new week. <laughs> watching Bob's Burgers and then I also baked some scones. I think as I said in my pre-plan with me, the Alice one, I wanted to make scones. Um, I have this like Country Women's Association recipe. I'm pretty sure it is. 
Um, but it's really simple. It's just self-raising flour, lemonade, as in what we in Australia think of lemonade, which is like Sprite, basically. We don't have lemonade like it is in America. <laughs> lemonade is like Sprite, um, like fizzy lemon flavored soda um, and cream. So a very, very simple recipe. And it came out really well. I actually, they were really good. We just had them with jam and whipped cream. Um, and it's fun, but it's nice because you get the cream for the scones and then you can use the rest of the cream that you have to whip up and have on top. And then that kind of replaces the whole having to fold like um, rubber butter into the dough. Um, yeah, so Bob's Burgers. Baked scones. And then we decided to get back to watching um, The Expanse because Alok this morning, I think, on Sunday morning, finished up the last book. So the TV show The Expanse only um, adapts the first six books, and there are six seasons. Um, but well, let me let me switch these around. Um, yeah, so um, Luck just needed to finish those six books before we got into finishing the show so we like we basically binge watched like the fifth season on this day um, I think we finished the fifth season on Monday yesterday uh, but it's real good love the expanse um, yeah the end of season five is interesting and it does change for the books because the actor who plays Alex was fired and you can look up why it's pretty terrible he's just one of those guys um and i'm glad they fired him but yeah alex is in the sixth book but the way they deal with him being fired um they did it like all in post and they actually did change the end of season five because they had finished filming when they fired him but i'm glad they took the extra steps because you know it all makes sense going into season six so i'm glad that was dealt with properly it was really good <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I still highly recommend, if you liked the show, I still highly recommend reading the books because there's just so much more, you know? But I will say drama is better in the show than she is in the books. And drama is just an awesome character. I love her so much. <laughs> um, so watching The Expanse, and I also cooked a lasagna this night um, and re read more Murder Bot. Which uh, I think I got to, f I was like 58% done, I think, on this night. And then I finished it off Monday night. But yeah, so that was this week. Let me pull the spread out and we can get these fun little deco bits that came with the foil put throughout. Tiny little sneak of next week, which I'm really excited about. Well, it's all going everywhere. <laughs> all right this is the finished spread i love the way it came out oh the colors i love that so much and i love like all the raindrops everywhere but we got all these fun decos um like little umbrellas and raindrops and clouds so maybe we'll put an umbrella on the ipads that might be cute just to give them a little extra I'm still being able to stick to just working during the um, week and not the weekends. So that has been good. I'm going to put these little rain clouds in. I don't think I want to use all of this deco. It's actually a lot. Um, we can look June look less silly over here. Then we have all these tiny like drip drops. I realized I didn't put any of the, um, I didn't spread those rain clouds out very well. <laughs> didn't get any of those over here, but we'll put all the raindrops over here just to add a little more glitter throughout because I didn't use too many um, uh, foiled scripts this time. Um, I wasn't working from a typical bundle, so I didn't really have a lot of um, I tend not to pull in too many foiled scripts if I can help it. I like it on the work though. It makes it like stand out. 
But I think that's it. I think this is the finished spread for this week. Yeah, I'm looking out my window and I just see snow, so that's funny. <laughs> um, it's not really sticking to the ground though, it's kind of like a rainy snow. So that makes sense with this kit. But otherwise, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye.